Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. He is a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a whiskey mooch. Now, hey, a lot of great comments about the name badges. Oh, oh, whose idea was that? Um, not yours. Somebody, some brilliant commenter that had some wonderful ideas. I'm, I'm cooking something up. Getting, we're in the design phase. Oh, yeah. design phase of the thing. This is very serious business. It is. If it you is. have design recommendations for the mooch necklace, the medallion, the whole, the whole situation, you let me know. <laughs> um, so we're drinking whiskeys. We're next. drinking by request Japanese whiskey. Here we go. All right, we're drinking Japanese whiskey by request. I have not had a Japanese whiskey that I have disliked. Yeah, you don't be either, actually. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. Mm -hmm. Well, I dislike was too strong a word. Didn't prefer it. All right, so we'll try this, and, and then, then I'll show you that and one. And then you show me that one. Okay, so this is, um, who requested this one? Uh, Trinity. Said, hey, what about a... Wait, are you not... Are you just by memory? I'll let you memorize things. Yeah. Okay, don't read. Okay, well, I can tell you why he asked. It's, it's right there on your comment page. Don't. Okay. So you remember when we did um, the, the, what was it, Harmony? That we really, really liked? Sure. The Japanese Harmony whiskey? Yeah. And it was a blend of three different Japanese distilleries. Two single malts and a grain whiskey. Mm -hmm. And I named them and you didn't listen? I completely remember that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is also a whiskey blended from those same three distilleries. Oh. So it taken from the same distilleries that made... Um, made, uh, I keep forgetting Harmony, which is right here. Right. No, it's hidden. No, here it is. Okay. It's the same guys, same three distilleries are right. in, into this one. Okay, so. So what he was wondering was, how different are they? Sure. Now, there was more emphasis on the cheetah grain whiskey right. than the single malt for this For one. whatever it's worth, is there a Japanese whiskey that you know of that is in a traditional whiskey bottle shape? I can't think of any. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Well, we'll see. We, we should try the Yamazaki. We should try that one too. <laughs> Just because the bottle the shape, the bottle shape <laughs> changes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. That is bright. Mm, it is, and it's sweet and lovely. It's like you know what this smells like Irish whiskey. I totally get that. Yeah, yeah, it's very grain heavy. I wonder if they're using unmalted barley. Which Irish whiskey would you say it's most? Well, if I name it, you're gonna make me get it down. And pour it for you. Certainly not. <laughs> but since you're offering, no, that's totally. And, and that's not. It an really is Irish whiskey. It's, to, it's not an insulting thing, but okay, it doesn't taste anything like Irish whiskey. Mm. There's none of that malt biscuity flavor. It's all light, beautiful, floaty notes. No mids, no lows. This is this is pretty whiskey. Pretty, um, sweet. No, no aftertaste. It vanishes almost instantly. Not for me. I have after, I have some clinginess, and it's not. All of the flavors that are clinging. I'm trying to. I'm, cr I'm trying to decide what is clinging here. Oh, oh, you know what it is? I think I figured it out. On their site, they list something, mm. and I didn't ag agree when I first tasted it. But now I have a memory. They said green grapes. Now you remember when you eat green grapes? The yeah. aftertaste of green yeah. grapes. Yeah. It tastes like the skin of the green grape. It totally. Yeah. Yeah, not the fruit, the slightly sour sweet, but the skin. Yeah, totally. I get that. Yeah. Green now, grapes. Now apple and honey on the front. Yes. Honey apple. I mean, again, and finishing green grapes. This is just a light if effervescent. You've, if you've had Irish whiskeys, then you absolutely have had. Okay. <laughs> You've oh. just been drinking a lot. No, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> You've been bastard. drinking an incredible amount. I need to have eyes in the back of my head. I'm going to start installing... I barely touched mine. That's, that's just the regular port. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look, you still have some. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to make me feel any better. Okay, here's the thing. This one we loved. Okay, so... We raved about it. We're not sharing. So now we're going back... <laughs> you brought another glass. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like you've done this before. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well done, yes. Now, hold on. Wait, 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 no, 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 I didn't want I'm you checking. to, I'm checking. I didn't want you to do a comparison because I think I poured myself more. <laughs> yeah, I don't like fighting over whiskey. That'll teach you. Mm, this is more, uh, get the, I will slap the taste out. Yeah, so the Harmony is much better. The Harmony is this way one, more fragrant. This it's, is alcohol in the nose. Alcohol, but it also has like gingerbread. Hmm. It's more of a rich kind of buttery notes than on the high on citrus, the nose? than the citrus I'm notes. just getting alcohol in the nose. Yeah, I like the Harmony better. Um, I am getting Fuji apples and honey on this. Yeah, 
I much prefer the harmony. The harmony is softer. It is soft. The, the harmony tastes like velvet. Right. Whereas the toki is kind of spicy and light. This is more like a true grain Irish whiskey where it's it's light, but it's kind of got some punch to it, and like a Bushmills or a Jameson. Yeah, and for people that haven't had Japanese whiskeys before, if you've had Irish whiskeys that you really like, get toki. Then you're about 80% of the way there. Mm -hmm. There's about a 20% of a nuance difference. Type yeah, of that harmony is just a beautiful whiskey. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't so, offer if you're not gonna. So read a comment. Pick between those two. Let's see which one you like best. Paper in the world. The highlighted ones were the requests. Slather Vasquez, not Quez, Vasquez. Vasquez. So my girlfriend's godfather's birthday is coming up mm. in a few months. He said mouths. So I'm assuming, assuming months here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know him very well, and he doesn't like me very much either. Oh, that's a bad sign. Mm. Yet I know he likes to drink. Beer mostly, but he does enjoy other drinks. Uh, I want to get him a whiskey, but I don't know what he would what would be a good pick for someone who is into beer and doesn't drink whiskey all that often. Any suggestions? Okay, so beer drinker, not really into whiskey. What do you suggest? Okay, now here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Dr. Grant taught me this thing in the spirit of love, which was answer the question as asked first, and then give them the right answer. Yes, and so as asked, I would say. Get him the lightest whiskey you could possibly find, and we've done some videos on that. Start with a blend, maybe an Irish. What do you think? And I mean, maybe this... give him, um, with it, maybe give him a little gift pack of those um, whiskey ball ice maker, so he can pour it over ice, and it's a custom round ball sure. whiskey thing. Name a whiskey, though. Something uh, Valentine's. Uh, he would know Johnny Walker, even if he wasn't a whiskey drinker, and that's a great blend. Um, something like that. Something pretty. Chivas Regal. That's a classic. Um, maybe even go Canadian, a little more maple-y. Yeah. Yeah, like All a right. crown or something like that. So what's the right answer? The right answer is, look Vasquez, if he doesn't like you, and he drinks beer, and you know this, then buy the f*** a beer! <laughs> why are you, why are you trying to change his, his opinion on what he prefers to drink? Yeah. This is not the time, man. <laughs> this is not how you win friends. If he doesn't like you, Now's not the time to try to change his appetites. Give him things that you know that he loves. Yes, yeah, so lots of those things. Go find a beer aisle where they've got really cool single, larger, you know, buy the buy the single instead of buy the six pack. Right. Find some interesting, unique beers right. and say, I don't know if you're gonna like any of these, but I got a variety because I know you really like beer. You know what I would do? What would you do? I would totally cheat. I would like look in the fridge. It's like, oh, this guy's in the shiner. I would fill up a shopping cart full of Shiner. Oh yeah, <laughs> lifetime supply of Shiner. And bring him just ridiculous, obscene amounts of Shiner. Yeah, so, yeah. As a matter of fact, you should bring it in a, its own mini fridge. <laughs> Friend for life. You're like, hey, look, in your garage, you have a new fridge, and right. it's full of Shiner. Happy birthday. But if you insist on giving him whiskeys that he's not really into, then something light and friendly Irish. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want another one? No, we're good. All right. What do you think? I don't know. The other one was for you. <laughs> I just put that in there for you. All right. All right. So, Speed Rack. Hey, Rex, that shirt sucks, <laughs> but it looks good on you. <laughs> you have no, You know you wanted to read that out loud. You have no idea <laughs> how much that pleases me. And I mean that without oh, a trace of sarcasm because that tells me we found our people. That's right, we found our people. <laughs> you got commenters who are oh. simul giving you backhanded compliments. Oh. oh, I am a connoisseur of ball busting, so yeah. nicely done, sir. Yes. How about yes. this shirt? This little ensemble. Yeah. Huh? You don't see what's below the shirt. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, well, we're done here. Until tomorrow, I'm your crazy stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.